what up, what up, what up? This is your boy, Newton 1949 aka DJ Rob Will. I don't know why I still mix my name up. Season 3, Life of a Rookie DJ. I'm super, super, super excited. You might see some perspiration because it is hot! Man, I haven't been on this thing in a minute. I've been working out. I got a promotion at my job. Uh, switched up my position at another job. and just, The life has just really been taking over. But I'm back. I'm still spinning. I'm very excited about this because this is the first gig that I've had where the person is kind of sort of the same age as me, a little younger, about five years younger, so I guess it's not a little bit, but I can cut loose. I can play completely uncensored music. We both like 90s and um, early 2000s hip-hop and R&B, so I'm about to go in. This is the first gig where I can really go in. Um, it's, it's almost a no-brainer. I feel like it's going to be pretty easy going, but we'll see. You know, people are going to request things, but y'all know me. I put together a, a rap list, or a hip-hop list, rather, of about 14 hours of music. So, I got that era pretty much covered with the biggest hits. R&B, I got about seven hours of music in there. I'm only playing for three hours, but, you know, you never know. You know, and we don't play the whole song, so y'all know how that goes, so... Thank you all who've been rocking with me. If you have not seen season one and season two of Life of a Rookie DJ, you should check it out because you'll understand and you'll have a better feeling for where I am now because all these videos are about reflection and growth in my journey as a DJ. Um, as usual, um, for the event, I'm going to post some pictures up in here. Check my Facebook page, Complete Vision Entertainment. Um, I'm going to do some video. I might do a little bit of Facebook Live. i got to watch my data. Hold on. And... Um, definitely some snapchat so i'm about to head out into the sticks right now and get this thing popping um hope you enjoy what you see here and of course stay tuned at the end of the video i'll do my usual reflection and we'll go from there peace my reflection video late um it's monday my gig was on saturday night uh needless to say I had a long weekend but um my reflection number one i did something i sh shouldn't have done it was lightning outside there's no thunder there's no rain but there was lightning and i was outside it's like an idiot i kept djing anyway um yeah i won't ever do that again that was dumb but 
other than that, the gig went pretty much how I thought it was going to go, without a hitch. I mean, we all like the same kind of music, so there was no, no, uh, there were no complaints. Um, I was only asked to play one particular song by Kevin Gates, which I didn't have. I just, um, I just had his two singles, uh, two phones, and really, really. Um, and somebody wanted another song, but... I was like, I don't have it, and I kept rocking. And then when I was packing up, I got someone's phone and auxiliary cord, and I plugged it into one of my speakers, and I was packing everything else up, but I let that song rock for them just to show them, you know, I cared. You know, I heard y'all. I heard y'all. You know what I mean? So here you go. Um, They tried to bring me some adult beverages. I had to chill on that because, you know, you got to focus when you're DJing. Um, be very, very careful of that. It's tempting when you can get unlimited free drinks or whatever, but you got to remember, number one, you're working, so you got to be careful. It's, it's a job. You got to be careful. Um, number two, you don't want to spill anything on your equipment. Number three, you want to keep an eye on your equipment. I mean, I don't know about all you other DJs, but I probably, when I rock out, I mean, from my computer to my controller to my speakers and cables and things of that nature I mean I'm probably rolling with $3,500 worth of equipment when I roll out so this stuff is not I don't buy the cheap stuff there is cheap stuff out there that you can buy but that's just not me I feel like I got everything mid-level or upper mid-level as far as equipment so I like to keep an eye on it you know when people drink they dance they move around they bump stuff they knock stuff and that's in my contract too. Hey, my stuff gets damaged by your party goers. We don't have to talk about this because that's on you. But none of that happened. Didn't have to worry about it. But those are the reasons why I don't drink. And then so, so you can also concentrate on DJing. I don't know if I said that. That's utmost important. You want to concentrate because you know, of course, when you're under the influence, you're probably not going to be able to perform the best. You know, you're going to slur your speech a little bit on the mic, and you might lose track of things you normally wouldn't lose track of. So there's that. Um, I lost a piece of equipment. One of my power cables that goes to one of my speakers, I lost. Um, I have no idea where it is. I looked through all my stuff. Um, called my homegirl to see if she saw it the next day. She didn't see it. Not really a big deal because I have extra. I have, it's just super long. It's like 30 feet long, um, the extra one. But it was the original one that came with my speaker that I lost. So I'm going to have to order another uh, power cable for my speaker. Um, it happens, you know, it was dark outside and I was tired. I actually stayed for an extra 30, 40 minutes. Um, that's another thing. Um, sometimes, you know, when the, the groove gets going, you know, eh, you stay over a little bit. I mean, they didn't really start. I started playing at like 730 ish. Um, I didn't leave until like 1130, but I started playing at like 730 ish. People didn't really start getting there. It started at 8, but people didn't really start getting there until about 10. So it was like, well, heck, this is my last hour. And so when everyone was really feeling nice and starting to get up and dance and move and really feeling it, then it was kind of like, uh, it's time for me to go. And everyone, oh, can you please stay? Can you please stay? Oh, I can stay all right. I can stay. So, <laughs> hey, it's, it's a business. So I stayed a little extra um all good uh so yeah that's my reflection i mean it was, it was the most fun loose laid back gigs i've ever done i hope to have more in the future man um i gotta get my music collection up it's just so hard to keep up with music man like i know there's record pools and things of that nature but you know sometimes people want those album cuts that aren't the single and I don't necessarily listen to everybody. Um, you can't listen to everybody. It's just too much music. I'm still trapped in the the, the, the 90s, early 2000s era. I love that music, um, which is fine. And I'm trying to get into the newer music, but these guys, I, I give them credit. They drop so much music, man. You might get four or five projects a year from some of these guys. And you can't really keep up with all the names. And a lot, a lot of y'all sound alike, and it's just crazy. But... You know, I have a day job too. So life has been crazy, work has been crazy, and I just haven't had time to really sit down and download new music and buy new music. So I have to get back to that, I have to get in some record pools and things of that nature.
Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, if, I, if I had any key points for you guys to take away from this one, it would be uh, don't DJ in the light when it's lightning outside. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Um, keep an eye on your, your equipment, you know. Um, I'm glad it was something simple that got lost. I mean, it was just a cable. Cables, you know, that's going to happen. I don't know. It still might turn up. Who knows? Um... Yeah, I mean, that was pretty much it. Watch the drinking while you're working. Remember, you're working. You know, one or two, okay. But know your limit. You know, you don't want to... I don't even know if you want to get buzzed. You might just want one to kind of relax your nerves. And maybe another one to kind of really relax them. But beyond that, you got to really watch it, man. You don't, you don't want to be the drunk DJ, I'm telling you. So, thank you guys for watching. And... I will see you on the next episode of Life of a Rookie DJ. Peace.